Okay, we are now at uh, section 9.2, uh, the analysis model, uh, what's called analysis model isolated system, and we're talking about momentum. So let's share, share the uh, PowerPoint. And here we are. We've seen this before. We've had to have force 2, 1 is uh, plus, uh, force 1, 2 is equal to zero. Uh, and so we see that the uh, time rate of change of uh, M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to zero. Uh, so the time rate of ch change of uh, the sum of the momenta uh, is equal to zero. So uh, the total moment, the total momentum is constant when you have an isolated system if there's nothing uh, coming from the outside the uh, total momentum is constant uh, so p uh, momentum total is equal to zero and we're going to use that and there's even going to be a walter fent uh, uh, assignment um, that'll probably bring this in um, so the momentum before an event is equal to the momentum after the event. So the moment, momentum one initial plus a momentum two initial is equal to momentum one, one final plus momentum two final. Now, what is this going to look like? This is going to look like um, the, when we get to collisions, the momentum, if you have a, a, a particle, uh, moving at some velocity, and there's another particle like a cue ball. Cue ball at a particular velocity, and a uh, uh, another ball still. When when it strikes and exchanges, one will be uh, zero, and the other one will take the velocity. So that the total momentum will look like zero. And we'll see other examples. We'll we'll look at a cannon and a ca the total momentum of a cannon and a cannonball. Well, the Initial, when the cannonball is inside the cannon, the total momentum is zero. Well, after it's fired, the total momentum has to be zero too. So you're gonna have the cannonball flying in one direction and the cannon flying in the opposite direction and their total momentum will equal zero. In other words, you're gonna have a minus velocity in one so that'll equal the, uh, uh, the momentum in one direction will equal the momentum in the other direction so that they both uh, add up to zero. Uh, and if this is true for the uh, all the x and y. So instead of repeating the same equation for each of the x's, you can see that p1, p2 uh, initial is equal to p1, p2 final, whether it's in the x direction, the y direction, or the z direction. Uh, all right. Whenever two or more particles in an isolated system interact, the total momentum of the system does not change. Let's repeat that. When that whenever two or more particles in an isolated system interact, the total momentum of the system does not change. For energy, the system is isolated if there are no transfers of energy across the boundary system. Remember, we talked about boundaries and the different ways that uh, items move in and out of the boundary. Uh, for momentum, it must be no external forces on the system. Uh, so for energy, there's no transfer in and out of the system. And for momentum, there must be no external forces on the system. And we, you've seen this picture before. There's the system boundary. The momentum uh, is inside the system boundary. If no external forces act on the system, the total momentum of the system is constant. So the sum of all the momenta, uh, or the change, I'm sorry, I said sum, the delta P total is equal to zero. There's no, there won't be any change in momentum. Okay. Um, and I think that's it uh, for that. Is it, uh, I, yeah, because now we're going to non-isolated systems. So this is a short video. Uh,